Hi, do I have a demo for you today? It's on the Mariner's Compass. That's a, a pattern that's usually reserved for your most advanced quilter. But I have a method for you today that will let even a beginner look like an expert. Let me show you how. This is the folded 3D Mariner's Compass pattern. Inside the pattern are two acrylic tools, a wedge and an insert tool. Both are made out of clear acrylic plastic, and I'll show you what we'll do with these. The wedge is used to cut wedges. You'll need 32 of those. And the insert tool has etched lines that let you preview what you're going to see when you piece it together. You'll need four of these, which means four exact repeats if you want a fussy cut. In addition to this piece, you're going to be cutting inserts with strips. This one is from an 8 inch strip, you'll need 4 of those. This one is from a 6 inch strip, and you'll need 8 of those. We'll take those inserts and fold each one in half, like this, and give that a light press. Next, we'll take our fabric wedges and sew those together with an exact quarter inch seam. Open that up like this. You've got your wedge pairs and now we're ready to add an insert. We'll add the smallest insert first. We place it on the wedge pair with raw edges matching, folds to the inside. Next we'll put another wedge pair on top and sew the sandwich together with exact quarter inch seams. When you open that up you get this flap and it's sewn in securely between those wedges so it's not going to go any place. When you press it, you'll press from the tip towards the wider part and it's centered and now you've got your first piece. Next you're going to go from the smallest insert to the largest insert. It too is placed raw edges even, fold to the inside and it too will have another unit on top and it's sewn together with exact quarter inch seams. I do suggest that you might want to base that the first time you try it. And I'll show you why. Because when we open that up, we'll make sure everything is square. And if not, that basting lets us easily adjust it up or down. When we have these put together, these are the quarter of the circle and we're ready to sew those together. When we do that, we put our two quarters together, and this is a two-step process. First, we'll isolate the center and sew just the center portion. Then, pushing it out of the way, we're going to put that last middle insert, again, rod together, full to the inside, put the lid on top, Sew that sandwich together, and we open it up. Now we've caught that last insert in there. Next, we will add inserts here and here, put the two halves together, and we'll have our block, which looks like this. Everything lies nice and flat. You've got 16 points, but you haven't had to set in point one. From here, we can frame our circle your pattern comes with a template for framing and making it into a square. This is your pattern. It's a nice full color booklet, 10 pages, everything kept together. Your illustrations show you step by step the process that I've just shown you. It also allows you to make the project in five different sizes, single lap, runner, twin, or king and queen. You have charts for your cutting and the back shows you your, your yardage. So you get the pattern in both inserts. And again, that's the folded 3D Mariner's Compass. Thanks for watching my demo. I'm Cheryl Phillips of Phillips Fiber Art. This has been the folded 3D Mariner's Compass and we hope you will enjoy making this block.